Hey everyone, thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to get this little look right here. It looks like a typical charity smoky eye, but there's some teals in there, which you probably can't see because my camera and the lighting is awful right now. I did this look using two of the Giselle 8 stacks. These are Giselle Cosmetics 8 stacks of loose mineral powder eyeshadows. Um, before I do the tutorial, I talk to you about um, what to do with these because they're messy. Because people left comments before saying that loose eyeshadows were messy. And I've heard a lot of complaints about powder loose eyeshadows being messy. So I give you a couple alternatives and a little tips so that um, you can fix the issues that you're having with your loose eyeshadows. Don't be afraid to use loose eyeshadows. They're just like every other eyeshadow. Sometimes it depends on the brush, and sometimes it depends on your application, and sometimes it's just a huge mess, and you can just get a little towel like this and wipe it off. So anyway, thanks for coming to my channel. Please subscribe. I would appreciate it big time. And um, yeah, so I did this little... Teal. It kind of reminded me of a mermaid, so that's why I did my hair like this because it was like teal and emerald and stuff. Yeah, so okay. Stay tuned, watch the tutorial, check out Giselle Cosmetics. Thanks for coming to my page. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and check out my blog, ladycookieluck.blogspot, and all that fun stuff. And yeah, okay. Hope you like it, and remember, don't be afraid of loose eyeshadows because they work just like everything else. Yeah, they're a little messy, but they're still as awesome. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I recorded a tutorial video, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I've been putting this off forever because I have so many camera complications, and um, you know, to those who don't make um, tutorial videos and all that, it may look like it's easy, but it's not as easy as what you think. You have to have this camera in front of your face along with a mirror where you can look at yourself and the person can look at you and your audience and blah, blah, blah. So it gets really frustrating and hard sometimes, especially when you don't have the right kind of camera equipment. So before I get on with this tutorial, I'm going to be using the, uh, just ahead of time, I'm going to let you know, I'm going to be using the Giselle uh, Mineral eyeshadows. I'm going to talk to you about those and do a tutorial. But first of all, I want to say um, I have this camera which sits like this and it's cool because I can see myself, okay, which makes recording so easy for me. Only problem is, why is my computer going slow? Hello. Okay, only problem is I don't have a tripod. So this thing does not stand up on its own. This does because it has a flat surface, but um, I had to record a church service the other day, and church services can be over an hour long, so I ran out of batteries. So in order to keep up with the flip, I have to get batteries. In order to keep up with this, I have to get a tripod. I had a tripod, it broke. So right now I'm using a webcam that is going so slow, so see, it, things aren't as easy as what they seem, and also the audio always sucks on my webcam, so... Why does it look like my chin is cut off in this video right now? I don't know. I'm having like a million and two complications, so I'm going to pray that this tutorial comes out all right and that everything quits going so slow. People made comments that mineral eyeshadows are messy. And yes, they are. But there's a few ways of getting around that. And I'm going to talk to you about them. Here's a couple ways of getting around uh, messy mineral eyeshadows. As you can see right now, I have no face makeup on, no concealer, nothing. That is one way of getting around it. Apply your makeup and then later take a wet rag with soap or face wash or even those little uh, makeup removing towels and whatever fallout you have, wipe off with the towel and then do your moisturizer and your concealer and all that. Um, that's probably how I'm going to do it today. I'm going to start out with nothing on and just do my eyes and if I have a mess I'll wipe it off. Another thing, use your finger. Pick up the product with your finger. Um, tap your brush. You should tap your brush or 
wipe off a lot of the excess so that it doesn't fall on your face. Those are a couple things to minimize the mess from the mineral, the loose mineral eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to apply a primer. Oh, I put enough on one eye for two, so I'm going to just pick some of that up and bring it over here. Give it a second to dry, and then I'm going to do my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to get started. Um, I'm going to actually do what I just told you to do, because how can I tell you to do something and not do it myself? So I'm going to use this bottom color here as my base, and you can see loose mineral eyeshadows. Pick it up with my finger. Now look, there's a lot on there, so it could fall all over. Blow it off. Dab it on your eye. I'm just using this light color as a base. I always like to use a light flesh cream color as a starter. Now I'm going to start off, I love all of these teals. I'm going to go this little pretty seafoam green looking one that I haven't even opened or used yet. I'm going to put some up in my lid and pick it up with my brush. Now look, loose, loose. I've used a lot of uh, set eyeshadows that are exactly the same way that fall all over and are messy. But it doesn't have to be a problem. There's so many ways of getting around things. Q-tips, makeup remover, soap and water, sometimes even just water. Bring it all in there. See, I'm looking a little fugly right now with my little coon circles around my eye, even though I've been getting a lot of sleep, so I don't know why it's doing that. But I'm going to fix all that up with the concealer. Now I'm getting a little fallout over here, but I'm not going to let it get me down. Me, 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 me. Let me take this color underneath it. Oh, I'm getting a lot of fallout here. A lot of it. It's cool. It's cool. It was my fault. I put a lot on my brush. See? <laughs> fallout. <laughs> now I have blue eyes. I'm going to take a slightly darker color and put on half of my eyelid. Pick it up with my brush, blow, put it on this half over here, kind of shade it out to be like from light to dark. And then I'm going to take the top one, which is the darkest, and kind of do the same, except just put it all the way out on the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take the other stack, which is going to have the black in it, which is going to be slightly messy, but that's okay. And it's an e.l.f. blending brush. The first brush I was using was a e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. It's my absolute favorite. <clears throat> Blow it off and get a little smoky going, a little smoky, smoky. Oh, another thing you could use if you don't have little makeup wipes, I'm going to show you. Uh, this is a makeup wipe, but baby wipes work too. And that's what uh, Deborah uses to take off her makeup sometimes. You know my best friend Deborah. I pulled it out a little too far over here. <laughs> Next thing I want to do is get a smaller brush. Oh, I want to do my waterline. I need to get a smaller brush to line the bottom of my eye. And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm actually going to go with my mouth, smush it in a little, pick up some of the black, blow it, and then line the bottom of my eye with it. Bring it up into my crease. Now, had I had already put all my concealer and all that on, I would have been a little bit more careful. But since I knew I was going to wipe it off, I really didn't care. 
Um, I know I already said this in my other video, but you can mix and match these. You can take them off, and if I wanted to bring just the black and the blues I used today, I could take them all apart and do that. Oops. What am I doing? <coughs> this one goes to this one. I wanted to pick up one of these lighter colors and brush it above all this. I'm going to pick some up with my hand. Hand. Pick it up with my brush and put it up there. Take my blending brush. Blend all that out. Add some eyeliner, mascara, some concealer, blush, and we're going to be done. Don't get it where you don't want it to go. And go around it. Okay, so I'm finished with this tutorial. My hair is still wet. I need to blow dry it. I'm going to put an introduction video at the beginning of this, so I might look a little different in the beginning. Um, but here it is finished. I added some blush, did my concealer around it with no problem. And I don't know what to call this. It kind of looks like all the other smoky eyes I do. But I just used some really pretty teal blue colors. Um, and they are from Giselle. I used two of the eight stacks today. I used a light color in the black from the Starry Night stack. And I used pretty much all four of these and this one, or the bottom one, one of the creamy ones, as just a base. And that's from the California Gold. So, I haven't done any mascara yet, but I thought it looked good enough to show you. So I'm probably going to finish doing my hair, mascara, lipstick, and put a introduction video and probably talk a lot like I usually do. But anyways, okay. Hope you enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hopefully next time I'll have, like, a tripod and some charged batteries. Yeah.